Hi there, and this is Who Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. As always, on a Friday, we will look ahead to this weekend's fixtures in the Premier League. Plus, as promised, a treat for the Manchester United fans. Let's just bring you what's ahead this weekend. Another goal mouth miss by Fernando Torres? Let's not go there. Here are the fixture lineup. Saturday's early kickoff sees Everton travelling to Manchester City. Well, just hang on, I'll have my predictions for you in a bit. While the two red clubs are feeling the blues, Arsenal more than Liverpool, understandably. The Gunners face Bolton while Liverpool meet Wolves. My pick to watch on Saturday is from St James's Park. Will Newcastle maintain their unbeaten record when they go up against Blackburn, who overhauled the once mighty Arsenal? Hey guys, Blackburn for Arsenal 3. Blackburn 4. Friend on Hoo-Ha Sports, Fran and Tommy. Continuing with the other fixtures, oh boy, Spurs meets the dreaded team that starts with W, with United travelling to Stoke. A potential banana skin for the champions, maybe? Just one fixture on Sunday and it's a juicy one. New look Queen's Park Rangers, which the fans are absolutely loving it, welcome Aston Villa, who was also still unbeaten. And on Monday night, it's Norwich versus Sunderland. Before I give you my predictions to this weekend's matchups, let's uh, talk a little bit about Liverpool as things are not so rosy at the club and with their fans, stemming from two consecutive losses with no goal scored against Stoke and Spurs. On Liverpool's official Facebook page under the post of Kenny Douglas's Spurs verdict, first, Zil Imo, who is in Houston, Texas, says he wasn't surprised by the loss to Spurs, but he certainly was with the scoreline. While Martin Armstrong wonders why Lucas Lever has such longevity, even though he hasn't been performing. OK, I'm trying to paraphrase his comments as decently as possible, all right? Nas Dillon, above Martin's comments, expresses the decline of the club as he sees it. And Jonathan Kennedy Jr. says it's time to ditch the players like Henderson and Carroll to seek out those with more calibre, like Eden Hazard. They better get a good result against Wolves, otherwise Kenny Daglish may also have to share the same bunker as Arsene Wenger. I think they'll be alright this weekend. Time for my two cents worth on what will happen this weekend. City should be strong at home but I fear for Arsenal. Bolton are second from bottom and Owen Cole's side usually give the boys at the Emirates a tough time. But Chelsea and Liverpool should back home wins. They better. My other predictions are Newcastle to remain undefeated, West Brom to take all three points in the battle of the cellar dwellers this early in the season, while Spurs and United who are playing away will win. And I feel Rangers will hand Villa their first loss of the season. I'm optimistically confident with my picks this weekend, but more importantly, will there be any more blunders from you-know-who? Well, we'll end with those images of United fans celebrating the three goals they put past Chelsea last weekend. Enjoy it, or you can just press stop if you're not in the least interested. And we'll join you again on Monday. Till then, have a great footballing weekend. But from the team and I, it's bye for now. Manchester United. United won Chelsea nil in just about seven minutes of the game. What a goal! Chelsea had ten chances in the first half, but they failed to score. But United strike back with goal number two. It's United two, Chelsea nil. United score another one. It's 3 nil. I just hope that uh, before the match, Peter Check told his mom, I'll be back by 9. <laughs>